Hi everyone, it's Justine. In the process of learning how to dress for your body type, I often get the question, you know, I don't know exactly what my body type really is. I can't say what's gonna suit me well and what won't. Good news is you can train yourself to get a feeling for that. And an easy way to learn is to look at celebrities and how they dress. So I prepared a compilation of body types of celebrities for each of the five main shapes. Rectangle, apple, pear, inverted triangle, and hourglass. One note before we start. Your body type is supposed to be genetic. So if I have narrow hips and a wide bust and shoulders, then I should technically be an inverted triangle. But if I tend to gain weight rather around the hips, so lower, and the hips are my widest points, then I will look more like a pear. And so for dressing purposes, I would just go with the pear. What I'm trying to say is, your body changes over time and your proportions change too. It's okay. Just pick a celebrity that has your body, your current body, as an example. First, the rectangle. When I say rectangle, people usually think long and lean, like Gwyneth Paltrow, for instance. This is the typical model body. She's very long, she barely has any curves, she doesn't have fat anywhere, <laughs> she's very thin, really. But what makes her a rectangle is the fact that she doesn't have a marked waist, her torso is pretty straight, it's the opposite of the hourglass. Nicole Kidman is also a rectangle. She's impossibly lean and thin. <laughs> she clearly has a dressing size that's below the average, especially given that she's had four kids, but she's a rectangle as well. Rosario Dawson is a rectangle too, so she's a bit wider, she's curvier. She's also shorter, so it gives you a different body with different proportions, but she still belongs to the group of the rectangle ladies. Now on the tall side, I would put Princess Diana, typical example. She has very, very long legs, uh, over proportionally long, which is very pretty, but what matters is her torso. It is all again quite straight from the bust, through the waist, to the hips. Then the apple body. An apple has more volume around the waist. Typically among actresses, Catherine Zeta-Jones would be an apple lady. She doesn't really gain weight around the hips and the thighs, but rather a bit higher. She used to be extremely trained, extremely sporty, and looked like an inverted triangle. But as she gets older, we can see that her natural shape, the one that she leans toward, is in fact an apple, and not a pear or a rectangle. Also an apple, but curvier, is Adele. By the way, she knows exactly how to dress for her body type. Very flattering outfits, always. So she's a great reference if you want to research apple bodies. And then another example would be Jessica Simpson. She's more muscular. Look at those calves. I mean, I've been spinning for three years. Mine look nothing like that. Beautiful, very sporty, but she's an apple. What I'm trying to show you is that the absolute size doesn't matter when you're looking at body type. It's about the proportions of bust versus waist versus hips. Then the pear body. The queen of pears is Beyonce, and I've mentioned her in a previous video on my channel about body types. Her stage costumes always add stuff going on and with on the shoulders and they cinch her waist to make her look more like an hourglass. But if you're looking for her street style, more casual, regular outfits, she is a pair. The shape of a pair is easier to see on Jennifer Love Hewitt. This dress is not ideal for her because it's so tight on the whole body, but it's great to see her contours, which is why I selected it. Helen Mirren is a pair too, slightly. She would gain weight around the thighs and the hips first before the rest of the torso. This dress is perfect for her body and definitely office appropriate, totally wearable. And then Kim Kardashian, the lady who wants to look like an hourglass, is a pair as well. She also happens to have great stylists, no matter whether you like her or not. And she's building a consistent silhouette and a, a contour for herself through the way she dresses. So she's a very good reference if you're a pair too. Then the inverted triangle. The inverted triangle lady can seem very athletic, like Cameron Diaz, for instance, broad shoulders and bust, no belly fat whatsoever, <laughs> and narrow hips. But let's be clear about this. She has this body shape, and she also trains intensively on top of that. It's not like the six pack is a characteristic of an inverted triangle, really doesn't have to be. Jennifer Garner is a bit less sporty at the moment, but you can still see very clearly how her shoulders and her bust are wider than the rest of her torso, even with a bit of belly, which she hides beautifully and wears beautifully anyways. Another famous one is Demi Moore. With or without the aesthetic surgery, she has this triangle shape. When getting a bit older, having an inverted triangle body is considered an advantage because a boyish silhouette without too many curves 
is associated with youth. Ronit Selvega is a petite inverted triangle. She's smaller in format, but she still has these proportions on her upper body. This is to show you that inverted triangle does not mean that you have to look like surfer girl Cameron Diaz. Then the hourglass body. In Hollywood, hourglass ladies always seem to want to play the sexy card with body dresses. I'm not saying that this is your only option, but it's great to see their bodies for the purpose of this video. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson is a typical hourglass. Her waist is a lot narrower than her bust and then her hips. She's typically the modern Sophia Loren. Dida Von Tees is less curvy overall, but she still has a very narrow waist compared to the rest of her silhouette. She's a so-called regular hourglass. A petite hourglass with more curves would have to be Salma Hayek. She has what is called extreme curves in fashion. Not many standard clothes are gonna fit her, but she still makes casual clothing work for her. She's very smart about her styling and therefore a good reference person for this kind of body. I hope that you found in this video a good reference person for your body type. If yes, thumbs up. Thank you very much. And if not, what was missing? How is your body different? If you can describe it in the comments below, I will try to think of further celebrities that could inspire you. Once you have your celebrity twin, I can recommend this video here on how to find your own style. It's the next step in the styling process. I will also link here in the corner and down below in the description, my series on the different body types, one video per body type. I will see you very soon again in a new video. And until then, happy styling. Take care. Bye-bye.